Not one of those for work, right? We opened gifts this morning and we're about to have Christmas dinner and mom made a lot of food. What'd you make, mom? Pancet. Pancet. So good. But her pancet is famous. Well, not famous, but it's so good. It's so different than any other kind. I'll show you what that is. And then after, the youngest family members typically put on a concert. So they're going to have a an evening concert. So I'll show you. Well, I don't think I can show you the music part of it because of copyright, but I can show you. Just a little bit of the concert. And then we're headed home tomorrow. And then we have another Christmas to celebrate with the grandbaby. But we're gonna go to dinner right now. Right, we're here and uh, a lot of right. blessings we have. We are so lucky. I'm telling you, we have everything. Nothing to complain about. Uh. This is mom's pancet. Yum. How long does this take to make, mom? Like. From my finally made it home. I'll tell you about that if you missed Instagram. I was posting about our travels. We were visiting my parents and it was such a nice trip. I think I showed you the last bit of our trip. We celebrated my mom's birthday and just the last bits of Christmas. And we realized it had been three years since we'd all been together. My sister lives overseas, so it's a little bit harder for us to coordinate anything at this point. So it was really great. And we took photos that first day. Actually, my sister-in-law took the photos and she did a really good job. So we did that and headed home and thought it was gonna be just seamless flight. It was only uh, one leg. And we got to the airport and everything looked fine. And then it was a three hour delay and then it was canceled. And so it wouldn't actually have been that big of a deal uh, to stay with my parents a few more days actually probably could have stayed till next week just fine but we were trying to get home because we have the grandbaby visiting so we had to get home make sure everything was tidy in the house so i'm going to show you we have some baby things here now um, and there's a car seat in the car and we're getting ready to pick them up here in a little bit but we had to get home for that so in order to get home we tried to rent a car there were no cars tried to book another flight at that airport there were no flights Lights. and then actually I should have had a clue when we first walked in and there was a really long line to check in bags and we don't check in we do carry on and then we saw people sleeping on the floor and I thought that was a little bit unusual especially for that airport um, but then it all started to make sense yeah the planes no planes were moving and we hadn't been watching the news so we didn't know that there was an issue there had been an issue since actually before the weekend so as we're looking online, just trying to see our options, we looked at a private car to take us many, many hours, which was uh, cost way too much money. Um, so we scrapped that idea, looked for rental car, no rental cars. Um, we could have borrowed one of my parents' cars, which would have been nice. Um, again, a really long drive, but uh, my dad was helping us. He was looking on the internet for other flights and found one at a nearby airport. Look that. Uh, went to that airport, took lift, got there in time, just in time to check in. And then we find out there's another delay, a three hour delay. So we were just hoping that we'd be able to get there, but the airline did an amazing job. They let us know what the delay was. Actually, it was the pilot who came out and talked to us and let us know what the delay was all about. Um, they gave us meal vouchers. This was United, by the way. So thank you, United, um, for taking care of that because this was the alternate airline we went with because the initial airline was having all kinds of issues that day um, and then uh, we actually it said your delay is not as long so then we boarded the plane and left a little bit earlier than the delay and now we are here so thank you to all of the people who are working at all the airlines to get everything under control it's not their fault totally understand that um, but 
it wasn't until I watched the news when we got home that I realized how fortunate we were and really how mild our disruption was because I know a lot of people were and are still stranded for days. So um, if you are one of those people, I feel for you and I hope that you get home safely, but we are home. So thank you for those of you who were asking on Instagram if we finally made it home, we made it home. And now I need to just wrap some gifts quickly. Oh, I wanted to show you the baby things that we have because um, it was my stepdaughter, by the way. I don't think I ever said that. My stepdaughter had a baby this year, so I'm a grandma, or a Lola, and um, first grandbaby, so we're excited for them to visit. But she rented all this stuff, which was a good idea. I didn't know you could do that, but if you're in an area where there are a lot of travelers that come visit, sometimes you can rent baby things. So we have lots of baby things here, and some, oh, I wanted to show you what we got for gifts. Actually, my mom, her first great-grandchild, um, got her some things I just wanted to show you because they're so cute. There's this little uh, overalls. It's a jersey material, so cute. And my stepdaughter loves neutral tones. And then there's this cute t-shirt that goes underneath it. Found this cutest sweater, little Cardi. And then we went to, oh, I didn't know Banana Republic had baby clothes, but they had the cutest baby clothes. So we got this cardigan, oh my gosh, how cute. It's like a cable knit with this um, collar on it. And they live in a colder climate, so this will come in handy. Really cute. And then this, my husband said he had to get this, so we got this hat for her. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be really warm on her ears. So if you are looking for cute baby clothes, Banana Republic has some, I had no idea. And then this cute overall set with the stripes. So sweet. And it has a little BR on the back. And these are more like shorts. I've got to wrap those. Oh, and I have something to unbox here. I've got something from Twisted Lily. So thank you, Twisted Lily, for sending this over. So I've got a happy holidays and a happy new year from the Twisted Lily team. So thank you, Twisted Lily, for sending this. Oh, our team just wanted to wish you and your family a happy and healthy holiday season. Please accept this gift as a token of appreciation. We hope you enjoy smelling through these awesome brands. All our best, the Twisted Lily team. Oh, how lovely. So cute. They did a lovely job of wrapping. Actually, I wanna do something like this with the wrapping today. Thank you so much, it's beautiful. And if you're not familiar with Twisted Lily, they uh, carry niche fragrances and they have a discount code as well. Oh, I love this brand. I love this brand. I love the uh, You or Someone Like You. It's a really unique fragrance, nice and clean, and it has those notes that I love. Okay, so let's how to open this. Oh, okay, there's a sticker. I'm having trouble opening. Oh, I also got some baby books for the baby that I need to wrap. I just remembered that. And one of their gifts is still in the mail. It's a mono, so I got the um, carry-on for them, but it's gonna, I think, arrive after they leave. So actually that might be better because it's kind of big and they may not have room to carry it on. Um, so we have this and here's the insert. And then we have lots of, oh, I think they maybe fell out of place. Wow, I think it's samples of all of the fragrances. I think they were all supposed to sit in here like this, like each one of these is a sample. And so we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 20 samples. Wow, thank you so much, Twisted Lily. I'm gonna sample all of these. Here you can see them here. And then I'll let you know which ones I'm most interested in. I love samples of fragrances first because I wanna invest in the ones that I really love and I'm so excited to try these. So thank you so much to Twisted Lily. Here, let me do this so it looks a little bit. I'll post a picture on Instagram to make it look a little bit better, but here's what it looks like. All of those fragrances. So thank you so much. Looking forward to it. But let me get to some wrapping. See what I can share the next few days, but really excited that we got home in time. Feel very, very grateful that we were able to get here, get home <laughs> and in time. And their flight is actually on time and actually a little early. So we're gonna go pick them up at the airport, but I need to wrap really fast. So we've got a bassinet here. We also have a stroller and a little play set. A lot of things with the baby. And I learned this from my mom to put fresh flowers in a guest room when guests are arriving. I think it just makes it look a little bit more alive.
forgot to mention we're giving this to them as a gift and it came in so handy on the trip when we were trying to make all our arrangements on the go um, for that last minute change. This is the Clutch, the world's thinnest charger. I'll show it to you before I wrap it. So this is it and this is how thin it is. Very convenient, so definitely came in handy for us. So we think it's a really great gift too. So tell us what the clutch, what is it? What do they say? In slang, clutch refers to something done well in crucial situation. Ah uh, yes, and we had a crucial situation and it was done well. I also discovered I had something else. Let's open it at the bottom of the box. Oh, Montal. Oh yes, I actually had a chance to smell a lot of their fragrances in Florence when we were there this summer. These are fruits and vanillas bestsellers. So oh, interesting, Montal was the first French perfume collection to use Oud, a complex, rich, and smoky ingredient known as the truffle of the perfume industry. That's another thing I forgot to mention about Twisted Lily. They have samples that you can order to try. I think they're for a small fee, um, but you can try the fragrance before you buy it, which I think is really important. Someone likes a bracelet. Good morning. I have no makeup on because I wanted to show you my really quick routine. It's probably the fastest routine I've done in a long time. So this is specifically for those days where I'm going out but not staying outside where it's like from the car to the store, those kinds of things. So I'm not completely exposed to um, the elements for a long amount of time. So I'm going to go with the Tasha SPF 50. And last night I started cleaning brushes and trying to arrange my makeup, not arrange, but like corral on my makeup because since we have guests, I just dismantled my filming area, which was a good thing because it allowed me to clear or forced me to clear off all of my makeup and skincare from the countertops. So those are all finally bare right now. Um, so I'm gonna kind of reset that filming area for the new year anyway. But I went ahead and just got all of the products that were on the countertops and put them in boxes and then I started to rearrange them. So let me see if I can just show you some of the fast forward from that. So I've got SPF on here. Um, I also corralled all of my brushes and I like to sort them by purpose. So like eye brushes and then cheek brushes and then face brushes, powder brushes, things like that. So it's kind of like actually more in size than anything else. So I went ahead and also started washing those. I think I got through like a third of them, but I also washed the uh, Shiseido brush that all of you a lot of you have questions about. And it is trickier to wash than any of my other brushes. We have here the Chantecaille uh, Sheer Rose Glow Face Tint. Did I say that right? <laughs> Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. So I use a cleaning mat for that though. So it's something with some texture, going right under the eye, something with some texture just to make sure that's all thoroughly cleaned. Takes a little bit longer to wash, a little bit longer to dry, but I also have nothing else that delivers the same kinds of results. Oh yeah, sometimes I go in with the SPF 35 3-in-1 by Color Science. I think I move that to my skincare because I'm still actually working out of this. I need to clean this up and get that ready to go again. So I like to preset that. So I'm going to use a little bit of the 
complexion touch under the eye and I still have this little travel version of it that I created and really a little goes a long way so I'm just going to take a little of that I'm not really using brushes yet because when I travel I tend to not use my brushes as much wash maybe two-thirds of my brushes like the smaller ones and the mid-sized but not the giant ones yet oh see a little goes a long way and then, oh, I have some things to unbox, I realized. Um, I ordered from the Chantecaille sale that if you saw my Instagram posting and my community tab, it was 30% off, which is the best sale that they've had all year. I didn't know that one was coming, except they tell us just uh, slightly in advance. They don't give us sometimes enough time to film anything, so that's why I didn't film anything. I'm just going in with straight with the Clay de Poe mocha. Um, yeah, sometimes there's not enough time to film like a dedicated video to it, but I try to give you some suggestions, recommendations, and why. So look for that in the community tab because I took advantage of that sale as well and picked up one of my favorite blushes. So we'll open that and some of you already know what that is, but I thought it was already gone. It's a limited edition blush for them, um, so they actually brought it back. Look, yeah, no brushes. I think partly because my brushes are being washed, but also super quick and easy. Oh, Chantecaille's Perfect Blur Powder. So no foundation, just some concealer. So much better already. Let's take brows. So this Gucci pencil is the one that just lives in my makeup case, my travel case. I need to sharpen it though. But you can see, depending on the pressure I put on here, I can make it more intense or less intense. So you still get like a graduated intensity there, but it takes practice. And thank you so much for all the comments in the last few videos. I just haven't had a chance to get back to them. I've seen them all though, so thank you so much, but I definitely am intending on getting back to each of those comments because I know it takes time to leave a comment, so I really appreciate that. Um, but some of you asked for my sister's information. I meant to link it below and just with all of the travel, I meant to do it kind of in the time I would have had there, but that didn't happen. Um, so I will get back to your comments. And uh, in terms of the kind of the new, not the new, but the renewed focus of this channel, I'd mentioned it in I think one video before, but really not buying every new item out there. There of course will be some new launches that I'll pick up because I'm already excited about them. But I think I might do, um, one of you let me know there's an idea you liked and I thought, oh, I like that idea too, about um, not buying. Like what, instead of what am I buying or will I buy? It's like, these are things I definitely know I'm not buying. I like that idea because then if you're wondering if I'll get it, I most likely will not get whatever that item is. Really like that concept. Also, I have been coming up with some other content ideas that I think you'll really appreciate because they'll be about items that I've been using and have used and comparing them and giving you some really um, more in-depth information. So I'm going to go in with this. I decided I really love this a lot. This color. This is that um, hourglass pencil in forest. It's a really good green. So I'm just going to quick. This is going to be my only eye makeup today. And it's New Year's Eve. So happy New Year's Eve to you. I hope that you enjoy a safe New Year's Eve. We're just gonna go out to dinner later and celebrate that way. So just a little wing here as well. And then I love smudging this one out. Gotta work a little bit faster, but the way it kind of just looks like a little bit like an eyeshadow as well, just like that. And that's it. That is my eye makeup of the day. And then mascara. My husband actually started a new tradition with the girls. Okay, so this is a Chantecaille Fossil Longest Lash. Um, he takes them for a nice father-daughter brunch when they're here. So they take a drive in the car and they go for brunch. So that's what they are now. I don't think I used any brushes today, did I? I did not. Number four. Oh, I'm so excited to open my Chantecaille because you're going to see what it is. 
So yeah, not perfect makeup, but just put together enough. Just enough. This makes a huge difference on me blush though. I'm just organizing this, let's use this. The Chanel number one in Lively Rosewood. Let's open a few things. So this first item is from Margaret at Chanel. So thank you so much, Margaret, for sending this. She sent a little card. It says number five has a beautiful ribbon on it and a cute, oh, there's a little hook here. Like there, you can put this on something, a little charm. What is this? Like for what, what is this for? I'm gonna have to ask her because it's on the ribbon, but then there's the charm. So you can clip it on something. But the thing is, I don't, oh, maybe my bag? Oh, maybe I could clip it to my blue bag. Let's see, can you see it? There's like a little CC and then a bigger CC. And then, oh, it has that moon motif on the back. Like this, oh, I wonder if I can clip it to my bag. And then we have this box. Oh, was I supposed to keep that ribbon on there? I don't know, because there's a ribbon on this too. And it's got a CC here. How cute with a little um, number five. This is quite uh, substantial in terms of its weight. And then another clip. Let's see if this will fit on my uh, bag, my little blue bag. Let me grab it. Oh yeah, look, it's like you can dangle it off there. Oh, how cute. And then this one too. Let's just pile them up. It was so sweet. So now I have a couple of charms on my bag. Oh, that's so cute. And then we also have here a number five Chanel. Cute little fragrance sample. And then we have another Soubalmage Le Creme sample. I love traveling with these. Oh, my voice. Okay, and then let's get into these. I have these two purchases. I think I might have something else coming in the mail. I'll have to look. Um, but this one is the Shankai. So again, they had the 30% one day only sale. It's a Boxing Day sale on the 26th. There were no restrictions, which was the only promo I think I've seen all year with uh, Chantecai, Chantecai, that had no exclusions. Usually it's like the philanthropy collection is not included or um, certain items aren't included, but everything was included in this. So let's see, which one is this? Oh, also check your email. If you're one of their loyalists, I can't remember the name of their program, but you may have a $50 gift card sitting in there somewhere. So check, cause I had one, cause I'm also a customer. I also purchased from them. Like I said, as lucky as I am to receive PR, I still purchase items from them. I think I may be in the highest tier also. So if that tells you anything, how much I love their product. What did I pick up? Oh, <gasps> like camouflage stilo. So I picked this up. Oh, it's a good reason I didn't put on the uh, La Prairie today because this is my alternative to the La Prairie. So I'm going to add it right here. Right now, I've been waiting for this to come back because every time they had a promo, 4C was out of stock. So I wasn't able to pick it up. But now, there's a new one. And they had it in stock, I picked it up. It takes a little while to activate it, but you can see the product is coming out there. Okay, so we're ready to go. I'm just gonna target it, target it, where I normally would target the um, La Prairie. So exciting. So I love this, even though the La Prairie has such a stellar, um, performance. This one is the next best thing. It's a little bit more sheer too. So if you don't want that intensity, it's another thing. It's a little bit more sheer. You can see it just brightens there as well. But 4C is a great shade for me. Here you can see it on my hand. It's got a peachy tone. That's why. And I wonder that's if that's why it's out of stock so much because it does a lot of not a lot of it. it does some color correcting because it has that peach tone that you see in under eye correctors really easy to use too so it's not like the love prayer you have to take out the separate uh, brush on the bottom to apply it with a brush but this one you know definitely more fluid oh i tried the new chanel under eye concealer my sister had it it was too light for me well actually i had it on in something maybe on christmas i had it on I was just playing around with it. It was too light for me because I think she had B30, something like that. So I just need to find my shade and I will be trying that out, but it's not limited edition, so I'm not in that much of a hurry to get it right now. But yeah, really slight brightening. I also picked this up from Chantecai. If you're in my post on the community tab, you'll know I gave kind of like a capsule suggestion of if I only had a few items, what would I pick up? Because they had it in a 
like in a set, which I'll check if it's still available because even if you don't get the 30%, if it's still a savings to buy it in a set. Um, but that video is coming up tomorrow morning. But this is kind of like a bonus video because I had some fun footage. I just wanted to put it together for you. In case, especially if you're staying home tonight and you just are looking for something to entertain you, I thought this might come in handy. But this is the gold rollerball, that one. So you can't see how much is left in there and I have had that one for a really long time. So I just don't want it to run out and then I don't have any more because I really like this one. With my gift $50 gift card, I think there's like no minimum limit. You could just spend it. This is what I ended up using my $50 on, the Flower Power Blush. And this would have been the blush of the year if it was like a regular item because I love it so much. It's so cute, very whimsical packaging. Usually I try to take a picture of it before I use the product. This is what I've been looking for all year, was a dupe for this. So I checked the Valentino blush, the Gucci blush, the Suki blush. All of the blushes I've been trying out have been because I've been trying to find a dupe for this and I never found one exactly like it. Now it'll be interesting to try this against something like the Valentino now because now I have them both because the other one I have is just in like powder form at this point. It's the only blush I think I've ever hit pan on, maybe in the recent past at least. I don't ever hit pan on makeup usually. Um, but this one I did and it's so beautiful and I wish they would bring it back as a permanent collection item. The holiday from last year, the brighter one is beautiful. The one from this year is more like a highlighter, the Lotus one than blush. Um, so that one's not my favorite, but this one is my favorite of the blushes in this formula they've created. And they are different than the um, philanthropy blushes, which are beautiful, but those are more like your traditional powder blush. This is stunning, 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 stunning. Maybe I should have gotten two, but I feel like I don't want to feature too many items that aren't available to you because I know it's frustrating if I love something and you can't get it. So I did make sure to pick one up at least. And that was again with my $50 credit. So I was just looking at this, how cute this really is. I love it. And I think the golds are not too far off here, but I really like how it looks together. So excited to, and I'm gonna try it on my, um, on my medium flap, see how it looks. But I think it's cute on this because it's more like this whole thing is whimsical, this little bag, and then this just adds to it. But it is New Year's Eve, so wishing you a very safe and happy New Year's Eve, a happy 2023. And tomorrow I'll be posting my skincare favorites of 2022, so make sure to tune into that. I'll be giving you a pared down version of it, so you'll have the maximalist and minimal minimalist version of my skincare routine and I'll show you the textures as well because I think that's helpful so make sure to tune in that tomorrow but thank you again so much for all of your support this year and looking forward to 2023.